Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have first impressions to do. The kind people over at Small Aromas have sent me a couple of samples through the post, so thank you very much. And today, we're gonna to be doing first impressions on these samples. Let's do it. What is good YouTube? Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikey Clone and thank you very much for tuning in. I am your host for today. Again, I want to say a big thank you to Small Aromas. They are a company in the UK. They sell designer fragrances, niche fragrances, indie fragrances. So if you're interested in any samples, go and check their website out. This is not a sponsor review. They did send me these, but they don't say you have to review them. So obviously I'm gonna because I have a fragrance channel. But anyway, a big thank you to Small Aromas. Now I'm gonna get cracking. I'm gonna dive straight into it. But before I get going, if you do enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button. It is completely free. Always press the bell because it will notify you when I drop a review at a later date. And I wanna say a big thank you to all my subscribers. I appreciate every single one here. Now, this is how they package their samples. You get an envelope, obviously, and then inside, they always put in a little card. This says, two new releases for you to try the best, Joe. So, thank you very much. And then we have the samples. And they put in a little suite of Werber's Originals. And then they package. Uh, let me just get the samples out. And then, so your samples are secure. They won't get bashed about. They won't get broken. They are protected well. Now, these two fragrances, these two brands, I have never heard of before. And if I mispronounce the names, which I'm probably going probably gonna to butcher them, I do apologize, I do not do it on purpose. So the first fragrance is from a brand called Simon Androlia, or Androli, and this is called Silver Marble. Then we have a fragrance from the house of Theodorus Calatonius, and this is called Sexiest Fougere. First off, I'm gonna start with sexiest fougere i have to with the name being sexiest fougere is it going to be the sexiest we're about to find out obviously if you have tried these fragrances drop a comment down below have you tried any from these houses like i say i know my stuff when it comes to fragrances and then when you get fragrances or samples through that you've never even heard of before it makes you wonder what else is out there Let's go for it. Sexiest Fougere. We'll obviously spray it, see what we get, and if we like it, we'll look up the notes. Let's go on skin. So on paper or on test strip and on skin. Wow, right. I'm getting, what I'm getting is lavender, Definitely sage, and I am detecting oak moss. This is green, this is herbal, this is aromatic, this is a touch earthy, but with this, it has a nice touch of sweetness to it. So this is not just, to me, this is not a full-on fougere. It definitely has, or it is that fougere style of fragrance. This is a little bit old school, definitely with a modern twist on it. There is something fruity here. This is definitely citrusy, a little bit fruity, green herbal, like I've said. But I tell you what I'm also getting. This has vanilla in it. I'm definitely getting a vanillic tone in this fragrance, which I think that is where the sweetness is coming from. This is a very nice fragrance. No doubt it is a masculine fragrance. And to me, see, on skin... On test strip, it's sitting fresh, whereas on skin, the fragrance, it's starting to warm up a little bit. 
and this is vanilla and this is a little bit balsamic there is no doubt about it i think there's amber and vanilla in this i'm definitely getting oak moss the earthy quality that i am getting it is not overdone it's present along with that herbal tone but it's not every nothing's really overshadowing one another they've all got a part to play and they're playing it well this is definitely a more dressier fragrance and i'm going to put this out there right now i think this smells great i really do i mean i do enjoy a fougere fragrance but when a fragrance does have an old school feel to it it has to be done well and this fragrance really is done superb yeah i like this this is nice we're going to look up the notes quickly drop a comment down below if you have tried this fragrance i would love to hear your thoughts i really would right fragrantica cedarwood rosemary vetiver calabrian bergamot clary sage oak moss green tea lavender geranium vanilla pettigrain pineapple labdanum sicilian lemon butter tonka bean and neroli I wouldn't be able to tell that it is pineapple. It definitely has a little bit of a fruity quality to it. At first, it was the citrus. Then after about 30 seconds, then I started getting a fruity quality. It's definitely aromatic. Like This is all about the aromatics, but that vanilla on my skin especially is standing out. Whereas on Test Strip, you can notice the vanilla but it's more pronounced on my skin than what it is on Test Strip. And it's still sitting fresh on Test Strip, whereas it is really starting to gain some warmth on my skin. This is a great fragrance. It really is. I enjoy this. Right, on to the next one. So that's one out of two. Now this is Simon Andreolia, or Andreoli Silver Marble. Let me just show you. I'll just push the hell out of that name. Let's go. Test strip and skin again. Let's see what we get. Wow. This is strong. This is strong. Fresh sharp green crisp a touch metallic cold but it smells different in the air like that initial blast lemon right that initial blast was really strong up in the air but then after literally a couple of seconds it sort of just Zoom, zoomed in if that makes sense right whereas the sexiest fougere was full-on aromatic this is a little bit green and it is a touch aromatic but there's something metallic to this fragrance it's got this cold crisp sharp quality to it and i'm definitely picking up on the lemon these two fragrances, the Sexiest Fougere and this, will be great for this time of year. But this, I believe, will be great or a great wear for summer, for hotter days. Because it's coming across cold and metallic, it's not off-putting. That metallic tinge is not off-putting. It's sort of setting the tone for the fragrance to be fresh all the way through. But there's not so much going on with it than what the sexiest fougere because wow that vanilla is really starting to become present now like really not overshadowing everything but the longer this is sitting that vanilla is definitely creeping forward or more to the front whereas this is coming across citrusy a touch aromatic cold I would say ever so slightly herbal and woodsy. Right, let's look up the notes. Out of the two, I definitely prefer the sexiest fougere. I mean, this thing smells great. Don't get me wrong. Silver marble smells nice. Definitely a hot weather fragrance. But the sexiest fougere 
has a little bit of a classy edge to it. it comes across a little bit more sophisticated a little bit more well dressed going out a few drinks with the lads if you're going on a dinner date with the missus the sexiest foods yeah because it's got that sweet side to it also makes it a little bit playful as well and i think it smells great i really do but we're going to look up the uh, notes for silver marble right it's saying sea water woodsy notes ice musk citruses and iced lemon so not a big note breakdown and there's not a lot going on with it it's a pleasant fragrance i'm not wowed by silver marble again if i was to pick out the two i would definitely go for sexiest fougere this thing smells great it really does right ladies and gentlemen that is first impressions on silver marble and sexiest fougere have you tried any of these? Again, if you have tried any from these brands, I would love to hear your thoughts. And I know I pronounced the name of the brands wrong. I do apologise, but if you've been following me for a while now, I'm no good with bigger words. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your time. Remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I will see you lot on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.